Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of robertoblake.com helping you create something awesome today. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the best video editing software, especially for those of you who are YouTubers. Now, even if you're not a YouTuber and you're trying to use video editing for something else, this might still be a great video for you. So I hope you'll tune in and you'll listen to my list of why these programs are the best video editing software pretty much regardless of what you're doing. I'm gonna break all of it down for you. So a lot of you watching the channel, you guys know that I use Adobe Premiere Pro and that is my video editing software of choice. But there are a lot of other great solutions out there and I wanna walk you through them. The reality is though, you don't have to use professional software to be successful in YouTube or anything else that you're doing with video. It does help though, because it saves a lot of time, you get access to some great features and it will position you later when you decide to scale or when you're capable of that you'll already at least have an understanding of how professional software works because you're used to it. So I highly recommend that you use something that I'm talking about in this video instead of relying so much on the free software because it just sucks up time. But let's get into the best video editing software and what it is and what it's used for. So like I said, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. It is an Adobe product and you do have to uh, either purchase it individually or through the Adobe Creative Cloud, which means that you'll be paying a monthly subscription fee. Now, a lot of you are not in favor of this option, and I understand that, but for me, it makes total sense, particularly if you're already making money off of your YouTube channel or off of your video content in some other way. I think it's just what we would call the cost of doing business. The upside of using Adobe Premiere Pro is that it's regularly updated, it does work with your hardware as far as the best hardware on the market, and it is used by the pros. In fact, it was actually used to edit Marvel's Deadpool and also Gone Girl and several other Hollywood productions. It's also the video editing software that professional YouTuber Freddie Wong uses. I believe that uh, famous YouTuber Lindsey Sterling also uses it. A lot of people I know personally actually use this, so I recommend it and so do they. But there are all alternatives and the most popular alternative to this for Mac users is Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro is exclusive to Apple and Mac products. Uh, Adobe Premiere Pro works on both Mac and PCs, so it also has that advantage. Uh, Final Cut Pro is considered by some to be simpler to use. I don't necessarily agree with that. What I will say is it does have a lot of quick, snappy, fast options, and that might be really helpful for you. It also does auto-save in the background, so you don't have to worry about that or losing your files, and a lot of the Apple applications actually do that. So that is one advantage of using a Mac and using Apple products when it comes to video editing. Now, if you want something really affordable that still has semi-professional features, there are three great recommendations that I have for you right off the bat, and there are a couple other options that I want to throw out there as well. For those of you who don't have the budget for the professional software, I highly recommend Adobe Premiere Elements and Corel Video Editor. I will say that they're both in the same price range, but Corel Video Editor actually has Corel Video Editing Suite, and with that, you actually get a free screen recorder that works out really well. It does save in the WMV format, which is the Windows Movie Video format, now that is a compressed format, but it actually comes out pretty okay. So I would recommend it and you can still edit that in Corel Video Editor. There are other editors that will work with it as well. So those are one of the advantages that I would say that Corel Video Editor has and why you should take advantage of it since it's under $100. Adobe Premiere Elements will position you to work in Adobe Premiere Pro later and it is only $75. And you could also get this in a bundle with Adobe Photoshop Elements. So for about 130, 140 bucks, you've got something that can edit great thumbnails and channel artwork for you, maybe even make some custom graphics to promote your channel, and you have a video editor. So I would say that combining those is probably one of your better options. Also, you have uh, Sony Vegas, and you also have uh, Sony Movie Studio. These are affordable, and a lot of YouTubers like to use these and they do work very well with the video codecs if you happen to be using Sony camcorders or Sony uh, mirrorless cameras. So that could be something that you want to take a look at if you're a fan of Sony. There is another pro level software, but I'll be honest, this one is great, but it's really complicated and it's used by professional movie studios and it's used by broadcast people and that is Avid. And Avid actually works not only with software, but there's also specialty hardware that works with it. And the reason I avoid mentioning earlier is it's the most expensive thing on this list overall and is also the one with the highest learning curve. 
So it is an option and I do want to make you aware of it. I will have links to everything in the description below, but that's not something that I would recommend if you're a YouTuber or if you're an indie filmmaker. I think you would be better off with Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, Sony Vegas, Adobe Premiere Elements, or a Corel Video Editor. Now, if you are somebody who is a hobbyist and you're messing with Photoshop and you have the photography bundle from uh, Photoshop for the subscription model, then what you may not be aware of is that Photoshop actually can edit video and can edit HD video and export it. Now, this is not ideal and I get a lot of criticism from Photoshop people who um, say, why wouldn't you just use Premiere Pro? But the reality is because Photoshop uh, Creative Cloud, Photoshop CC and Lightroom are a $10 bundle uh, for per month in the Creative Cloud. It's a really affordable option for students and beginners. And then you get to edit your photos, you get to make graphics, and you have something that can edit video. So if you're shooting video on a cheap DSLR camera or even on your iPhone or Android phone, this could still be a really good option for you and it will work. It's not great, it's not professional video editing software, but it is there and you're already paying for it. And at 10 bucks a month for something that gives you photo editing and graphics capabilities to also be able to edit video that sounds really appealing so for the price point if you're someone on a strict budget I highly recommend it. Some video editing programs that get honorable mentions here are Filmora. Filmora Wondershare is great for beginners so it's about 40 or 50 bucks and you can get it for Mac or PC and I would recommend it for somebody who is okay with um, having a few more options. There are some limitations I've actually done a video about Filmora that you can check out but you know, it is a really good option for beginners and it is affordable. I would say for a few more bucks, you could get Premiere Elements, you could get um, Corel Video Editor. Also, there is another alternative that's in this price range. It is um, Power Video Editor from Cyberlink. And I think that this is good software. I've gotten a lot of recommendations from you guys about this and I wanna actually do tutorials. I've reached out to Cyberlink and tutorials on this will be coming to the channel. They're gonna provide me um, a copy of the software. So I'm gonna be able to do that for you guys. So there will be tutorials on that, Premiere Pro, uh, Corel Video Editor, and I might go ahead and buy the new version of Adobe Premiere Elements to go ahead and help train you guys on that. So just stay tuned and be subscribed because those videos will be coming in the near future. So those are my recommendations for the best video editing software out there. I do have some recommendations on screen capture software for those who need to do screen recording. That is a separate video. It'll be linked up here somewhere and also in the description. So make sure you're checking that out. If you absolutely need free video editing tools, I've done a whole other video on that. Uh, last year, so make sure you're checking that out as well. Links are in the description. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have recommendations for video editing software, leave those in the comment section. If you have questions, leave those as well. Remember, I also have a free email course on growing a small YouTube channel, so if that's something you're interested, make sure you're checking that out with my link below. There are also links to all the video editing softwares that I mentioned in this video. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so very much for watching. And don't forget, create something awesome today.